Hey everyone, Jesse here with Plant Propagation USA doing a video today uh, based on the lettuce and kale plants that I have started. Uh, once again, just trying to compare the difference between uh, starting plants in these net cups inside uh, versus a soil cube. Uh, in the past I've tried soil cubes and it's just a lot of work and I saw online that someone's actually um, doing these net cups and um, so I have a, uh, a batch of lettuce uh, kale or two in there that I wanted to put out um, they've been growing in these uh, rooter I don't know rapid rooter um, plugs I suppose um, the roots, as you can see, are kind of poking out, but kind of not. Um, they've been placed in these um, pond uh, pots. You can get them at Home Depot for like $2.50, so basically the water can drain, and then also um, it'll allow air so that the uh, plants inside will air prune. So I've dug a hole right there, and I'm just going to plop it in uh, to this garden bed should be a pretty easy process. It's supposed to rain pretty soon. So I'm gonna do that with a bunch of the other ones. Um, so you can see once again, the lettuce seems to be doing fine, maybe a little bit yellow. Um, I've had these outside for probably about a week now. Um, just keeping them inside at night, but during the day trying to get them sun. Um, I think they can use a little bit of fertilizer. This bed is completely um, just compost, so they should have plenty of fertilizer with what they need. Uh, and we have some previous kale starts that I had planted a couple weeks back, maybe a week, week and a half, two weeks back. Um, so there's one, we had one that is not doing so well. Um, and these were split between the, uh, the plugs and just using soil. Unfortunately, uh, kids kind of destroyed most of them, but I do have a couple that are doing just fine. This one's in one of the rooter plugs. It's a little smaller still, but it's uh, it's growing. I put some fertilizer around these guys. Here's another one in a plug and another one in the plug. So nothing crazy growth-wise. Um, should I do this instead of direct sowing the seeds? Probably really depends. I need to start some tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, things like that that take a little bit longer to grow and then I can just swap out in the beds. Ideally you have maybe four of these trays or so and you're just putting out a new batch every week and so you constantly have new plants uh, being planted, being grown inside. Um, so still have grass coming up. And we'll see how that fares over the winter. Um, yeah, so any questions, just let me know. Um, one good thing about these rooter plugs is they're super easy to start. You just place the seeds in there and you'll water from the bottom. So I'll put this whole thing in a container, sit it in there. The uh, plugs will soak up the water from the bottom which is a good way to water your plants. You don't really want to spray the leaves because then it can make fungus issues or things like that. So that's a great thing about them. Um, and then when you're done, you just grab them out. Um, with these net pots, I'll probably trim a lot of this out. So maybe if every other line is trimmed, maybe the bottom is trimmed out uh, just so that it's easier when I do switch to just putting potting soil in these um, to push them out and to plant them with the least amount of damage as possible. So you can see that. All right, with that, I'm going to get to planting and um, we'll see how these guys grow compared to uh, the other kale and everything already started. Thanks for watching.